If you're trying to learn how to play the guitar, then I am going to teach you how to play the D chord, which is one of the five must-know open chords used in thousands of popular songs. Plus, I'm going to provide you with five great tips for mastering the D chord or any other chord for that matter. In fact, I've taught these chords to hundreds of my students ranging between the ages of 5 and 75 years old, and they went on to quickly master these chords and use them to play their favorite songs on the guitar in no time. So it doesn't matter if you're an elementary school student or a perennial, this guitar lesson can help you. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a free bonus for you. Hello, and welcome to the Rock Dojo. My name is Brian Parham, and I'll be your guitar sensei. I created the Rock Dojo to share the positive power of rock guitar. I tried learning the guitar as a kid, but the lessons were too expensive and tedious. Worse, my parents believe musicians were born with exceptional talent, and I was terrified that I didn't have it, so I quit. Nearly two decades passed before I picked up the guitar again. During that time, I missed out on the brain benefits of learning to play the guitar, but it doesn't have to be that way. I created the Rock Dojo so every kid has the opportunity to learn lifelong success skills, to gain the brain benefits of playing a musical instrument, and to enjoy the sheer power of rocking out on the guitar. I want to send a special shout out to those of you who are part of the Rock Dojo community. Your support helps me share the positive power of rock guitar with guitars all over the world. And if you're not a part of that community, then hit the subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss a lesson. Up first, the D chord. Now what is a D chord? Well, the D chord is a three note chord made up of the notes D, F sharp, and A. These notes don't have to be in that order. In fact, the D chord in the open position uses the notes D, A, D, and F sharp, but it's still a D chord. To finger the D chord, place your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string, place your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string, and place your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. Then strum the D, G, B, and high E strings. When you're playing the D chord, be careful to avoid strumming the E and A strings. Now, why is the D chord so hard? Well, the D chord on guitar is hard for two reasons. Number one, you must avoid playing the E and the A string. And number two, you have three split fingers, meaning your fingers are spread out over two frets across three strings. Now, is there an easier way to play the D chord? Yes. It's called the D power chord and it rocks. To play the D power chord, place your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string. Now strum the D string and the G string together and voila. You're now playing the mighty, mighty D chord. One, two, three, four. Now, five tips for mastering the D chord are up next, but if you're liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Now here are my five tips for mastering the D chord or any other chord. Number one, go slow. When it comes to learning how to play the guitar, fast is slow and slow is fast, so take your time. Number two, sound check. Pick each individual note one string at a time to make sure there is no string buzz. Number three, Avoid learning too many chords at once. Instead, focusing on learning one or two chords at a time. Number four, connect it with chords you already know. If you can play an A chord easily, then the combine it with the D chord and practice switching between the A and the D chord, like this. Number five, Leverage your preferred learning style. What style do you learn best in? If you're like me, you probably learn best reading. In that case, I recommend using a chord chart. If you're a kinesthetic learner, then you learn best by doing. You should pay attention to how the chord feels. If you're an auditory learner, 
then you're in luck because you learn best by hearing. In that case, you should listen to what the chords sound like. You could also listen to your favorite songs and try to pick them out on the guitar. Make sure you click on the link below to get your free guitar course for kids. But if you're not a kid and you still want to work on your guitar basics, this course is also for you. In it, you'll learn how to hold the guitar, parts of the guitar, open strings, power chords, and so much more. Just click on the link below to sign up for your free course. And if you have a question about the guitar, leave it in the comments section and I'll make sure to answer it in a future video. And remember, every guitar master was once a beginner. The more you practice, the better you will become. Rock!